I have a, a special announcement. If uh, anybody is here to compete in the America Ninja Warrior, I think you're a little bit too late. But uh, but uh, the uh, that was exciting for the city to have that uh, right outside of our uh, Union Station. Uh, we do. Uh, I don't know if many of you are aware, but we have our own honorary American Ninja Warrior in uh, Mayor James, and so he. Uh, uh, he has uh, many times shown his uh, uh, ability to uh, win that contest. Uh, but uh, what I'd like to do real quickly is just uh, briefly uh, give you an update. I'm uh, Scott Taylor, 6th District at Large City Council. And uh, I'm uh, excited to be a co-chair of the City's Energy Project Advisory Committee with Dennis Murphy from uh, the city. And as you know, Dennis has done a lot of great things and his staff uh, to bring Kansas City into the front of sustainability around the country. We're a model for the rest of the country from many of the initiatives taken over the last several years. And so the City Energy Project is just another one of those examples. This is a, I just wanna tell you about it very quickly. Uh, and uh, we wanna get on with the awards. We have quite a few awards up here, so uh, uh, to give out. The uh, City Energy Project's a three-year national initiative undertaken by the Natural Resources Defense Council and the Institute for Market Transformation with funding received from the Bloomberg uh, Philanthropy, uh, Philanthropies uh, Foundation and the Doris Duke Foundation and the, the Kresk Foundation. So a lot of uh, individuals supporting this initiative. And uh, the, the main concept that, that buildings on the base of uh, many things uh, that were going on here in Kansas City uh, to make Kansas City a hub for uh, energy efficiency and sustainability, uh, a, a model for the rest of the United States. And so we're not alone though. There are nine other cities involved in this initiative. And so I'll just mention those briefly. That's Orlando, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Boston, Chicago, Houston, Denver, Salt Lake City, and Los Angeles. So it's good company uh, to be in. The uh, the local uh, initiative that we're working with, and I want to recognize uh, many of the uh, uh, advisory committee members, we brought together a really good group of uh, private sector and public sector uh, entities and stakeholders to provide input on what we should be doing as a city. And so if you are on the CPAC committee, could I have you uh, raise your hand very quickly? And I just want to, uh, let, let's give them a round of applause for all the time they're putting in. The committee's initial focus is to look at our largest buildings in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, given their percentage of the total square footage of building space in Kansas City, and looking at having a significant impact on energy use and potential energy savings by reducing uh, energy output. And so the committee uh, has been established since uh, we've been meeting since February 28th, 2014. We've been very deliberative and looking at uh, what we're doing and, and putting together a ordinance that will be presented to the city council. Uh, we've had multiple meetings, many hours have been put in by this, these committee members uh, over the last several months and, and year, quite frankly, and uh, uh, to put us in a uh, position to pr present a ordinance to the council uh, that will uh, uh, require uh, Energy Star rating uh, work or benchmarking as it's known in the, in the uh, industry. Uh, there are uh, many examples here today and we're gonna have some awards presented by Mayor James in just a minute of uh, great companies and public uh, entities that have already gone through the benchmarking process to improve their energy efficiency of their buildings and they've agreed to share their experiences with other building owners and managers in Kansas City and that, that will be very important as we go forward. So this uh, ordinance, I'm, I'm happy to please uh, report uh, to you that uh, it will go out uh, to council. We will start hearing it in the next several weeks. There will be plenty of opportunity for public testimony and uh, we have uh, uh, also uh, I uh, want to make it clear that we've, we've taken a very uh, pragmatic approach in Kansas City. While uh, some of the cities mentioned have already passed ordinances, uh, some of them have uh, passed a uh, benchmarking ordinance 
that requires the benchmarking part of it. And they've also required many other things uh, on uh, property owners. We have decided to take a more pragmatic approach and only do the benchmarking part of it. What we've seen in some other cities that have done that approach, a more pragmatic approach, is that the private market will uh, help uh, once those uh, Energy Star ratings are released, the private market will, uh, will make the energy efficiency improvements happen on its own. And, and basic example is a building owner uh, may see that they have a pretty significant opportunity to increase their energy efficiency because the way this works, uh, the way we want it to work is that it, uh, it makes sense for these energy improvements uh, to occur so that uh, with a, a few small uh, undertakings of energy efficiency, then the uh, uh, bottom line of the property owner can be uh, uh, made much better and the, uh, uh, there can be some financial savings for the property owner. Uh, but we don't, we don't get to that point unless we have the energy star rating in place to understand what that is. So the, uh, the reason we're doing this is uh, that this, this is kind of where the industry is going city, uh, nationally, but also the long-term goal would be if we uh, set out to take a look at just our largest buildings in Kansas City, the long-term impact's pretty tremendous. The energy savings by 2030 as we go forward, if we just focus on our largest buildings, uh, would be to save $50 million citywide on an annual basis. And so uh, that, that's a pretty uh, significant savings on top of all the other positive benefits. And uh, quite frankly, uh, the uh, younger generation is, is looking at this as they move into downtown. And this will be an important uh, factor for them to uh, see uh, how uh, they want to live in energy efficient buildings. So the uh, many reasons why this is so important, but uh, it will take all of us working together. So today we're very honored. Uh, Mayor James is going to be giving out awards and I have to announce that if you receive award, please uh, stay after for the group photo with Mayor James. And uh, if you receive a, uh, uh, there, I guess there are uh, special recognition plaques as well, which we have some of them up here. And Kansas City's receiving uh, one of those. The city of Kansas City is receiving one of those. Uh, the uh, plaque uh, award winners will also need to to uh, stay possibly uh, after the group photo for an additional photo with Mayor James. So we have this all kind of uh, stair stepped out. But with that, uh, I want to bring up one of our great uh, new companies in Kansas City and uh, tell you a little bit about them. Uh, they've been a great partner to work with, with uh, when we can speak firsthand from the city of Kansas City perspective, but it's a company that started in a, uh, it's one of the great stories, that we've heard many of them in Kansas City, but they actually started their business in a, uh, a, a garage and, and the business has grown uh, now to have uh, several employees three uh, different cities, offices in three different cities. Their headquarters we're really honored to have here in Kansas City. They have an office in St. Louis, an office in Boston, and their business is growing everywhere. Uh, the, the business, uh, I think many of you are aware of, is uh, Brightergy. And I'd like to invite up and introduce uh, the CEO of Brightergy, who's been a great partner for the city of Kansas City, Missouri, Adam Blake. Come on up, Adam. Good morning. My name is Adam Blake. I'm the CEO and founder of Brightergy. We are an energy technology company, very proud to call Kansas City our home. Kansas City is quickly becoming a thought leader and a very forward thinking city as it relates to energy, technology, and sustainability. And we're proud to call our headquarters, or our headquarters in, Can or in the Crossroads District. So we provide a suite of energy services, software, and projects like solar, energy efficiency, and CHP to help commercial and tax exempt organizations really take control and save money on energy. As a member of the chamber, we've watched the chamber over the years champion energy efficiency and environmental programs through programs like the Climate Protection Partnership and the Kansas City Energy Initiative. They've also been supportive of renewable energy standards at the state level. In 2013, the chamber supported the Kansas City application to the City Energy Project. 
This national initiative is really to improve the energy efficiency of large buildings and create more prosperous American cities. It's a program that the Chamber was really excited to support. And indeed, Kansas City was honored and selected to be one of the 10 cities to participate. And the selection created an opportunity for the Chamber to build on some of its earlier programs with energy progressiveness and environmental efforts. Partnerships like this allow Kansas City businesses to reduce their energy consumption and cost, save money and create jobs, all while encouraging a healthier and more prosperous Kansas City. An important part of this collaboration is the Mayor's Energy Project that was kicked off in June of 2014 by Mayor Sly James. The 2014 Mayor's Energy Challenge invited Kansas City businesses and institutions to benchmark their building's energy consumption with Energy Star Portfolio Manager. The 2014 challenge was able to achieve commitments from 175 buildings, and 51 of those had done no prior benchmarking. Here to recognize those organizations who participated is a truly progressive leader and one of our community's greatest champions of sustainability, Mayor Sly James. Well, you know what? This is exactly the right kind of day. First of all, I want to thank Councilman Scott Taylor. Scott has been um, a great champion of energy and other issues, and I'm looking forward to working with him next term and continuing the work that we started here. I also want to thank you, Adam. Um, Adam and Brightergy are exactly the types of businesses that we've talked about, and we've talked about becoming the most entrepreneurial city. Here's a Here's a company that's based in the crossroads that continues to hire people and expand and to do good work in the process. Thank you for being here and thank you for being good corporate citizens. I want to thank the Chamber for hosting this event breakfast today. I don't know about you. I didn't get anything to eat. You guys eat? <laughs> See, here's my thing with breakfast. Breakfast ain't breakfast unless you got eggs and sausage, okay? <laughs> anything other than that, it's not breakfast. Okay. But it's especially nice to be welcomed by the Chamber's hospitality uh, and bright and early on a Monday morning. And so to all the folks here with the Chamber and for everything that you do in allowing us to use this great space, thank you very much. Uh, more importantly, thanks to everybody here today who's participating in the Energy Challenge. Uh, thank you for making energy efficiency a priority in this city. It, this is yet again something for Kansas City to be proud of. I mean, here we are one more time uh, at the front edge of, of what's going on in the country in this sector. Uh, we're not lagging behind, we're not in the middle of the pack, we're at the front end. And that's something, once again, for Kansas City and Kansas Cityans to be proud of. Efficiency is one of the four main uh, points of our agenda, but it's not just about making government efficient. It's about making our city efficient. It's about being known as an efficient city in all respects. And energy is certainly one of those areas to be efficient in. Uh, since energy is good for business uh, and good for livability, it is only right that we spend some time and energy focusing on that. Uh, and energy efficiency saves money, but it also protects this environment. And I don't know if any of you watched John Oliver and uh, t t last week, tonight, last night, but if you haven't, there's a good reason to watch that with relate, uh, regards to environmental issues. Uh, those of you who watched it know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm particularly proud on behalf of all the city taxpayers that the city itself has accepted this challenge on several municipal buildings. Uh, my favorite example is City Hall. Uh, some people might think that older buildings can't be made more energy efficient, but that's simply not the case. Uh, the cornerstone of City Hall reads, erected A.D. 1936. Uh, that was a long time ago. That was even before I was born. Um, and it was in the depths of the Depression. Uh, that's an old building by anybody's standards in this city. But still, City Hall has a 2012 Energy Star score of 92. That means 92 is better than 91% of all of its peer buildings. That's pretty good. That's a historic seat of the city government that's performing at a very high, very high rate and level uh, with regards to energy efficiency. Best of all, compared to 2010, City Hall is saving taxpayers in this city an average of more than $145,000 a year on energy needs. 
uh, the Kansas City spirit can yield outcomes like that, and that's one reason why I'm glad that uh, we're in Kansas City focusing on this issue and trying to spread this good word and this good work and these savings across the entire spectrum. I'm also proud of all the companies that are here today uh, to be recognized for their participation, so I'll get to that. Um, first, let's recognize five companies that completed the challenge. And please hold your applause until I name all five, if you would, please. Uh, the names will appear on the screen so you'll be able to see them. Brookside Village, LLC, Commerce Bank Building, Crestwood Condominiums, H&R Block World Headquarters, and St. Luke's Hospital. Now this next group submitted multiple buildings to participate in the challenge. That's UMB and its partner, MC Realty Group LLC. MC Realty Group LLC for other buildings it manages around town. Kessinger Hunter and the Kansas City Public Schools. Congratulations to all those owners and property managers. Now let's congratulate the owners and managers of the following 10 buildings that not only benchmarked their buildings but also shared their findings with us. 2555 Grand Boulevard, the home of Shook, Hardy & Bacon, owned and managed by a commercial real estate firm, Hines. Bishop McCann Taylor Building, Burns & McDonald State Line Office, Interfab Power & Industrial Inc., Freight Quote, Hallmark Corporate Headquarters, J.E. Dunn Construction Corporate Headquarters, Metropolitan Energy Center, to Emanuel Cleaver, and Veolia Energy. Thank you for all your efforts. <laughs> now next, we're very delighted that many owners or managers shared their energy scores from multiple buildings they control, and these honorees include General Service Administration for the Charles Evans Whitaker U.S. Courthouse and the Richard Bowling Federal Building, Millbank Manufacturing Company Headquarters and Research and Development Lab, Truman Medical Center at both Hospital Hill and Lakewood, Rockhurst University for Corcoran Hall, McGee Hall, and Xavier Loyola Hall. I lived in Corcoran Hall. I'm glad that they at least made it energy efficient. <laughs> it wasn't energy efficient when I was there. It might have been all the people moving through the halls. I don't know. Um, UMKC for six buildings, the Administrative Center, Grant Hall, Herman and Dorothy Johnson Hall, Mannheim Hall, Oak Park Place, I'm sorry, Oak Place Apartments, and Oak Street Residence Hall. And last but not least, my personal favorite, the city of Kansas City, Missouri. So if you think that we're just praising Kansas City, uh, I'll, I'll take it. But seriously, Kansas City made this list because we submitted over 60 buildings for the energy challenge, including fire stations, community centers, police stations, and many others that you might not think about, like the gym theater and two downtown parking facilities. Uh, the city council, city manager, and I want the city to actually lead by example. So it's important that we take place, take part in this uh, process and that we shine in doing so, and I'm proud that we did. But I'd now like to introduce and recognize our final group, and these final five companies own or manage buildings that qualify for Energy Star certification, which is the objective of the program. Uh, that means that their buildings do better than at least 75% of peer buildings when it comes to energy use. So I'd like a representative of each of, the, each of these organizations to come forward and receive special recognition as your name is called, please. 2555 Grand Boulevard. <laughs> Burns and McDonald. Freight quote. J.E. Dunn, and last but not least, City of Kansas City, Missouri. A couple more quick thank yous, if you don't mind. All of this great work, uh, actually, none of this great work would be possible without KCPNL. They've been a tremendous partner since day one. 
of the Mayor's Energy Challenge, and I'd like to recognize Elizabeth Danforth of KCPNL for the work that she and the entire utility does to make Kansas City great. Elizabeth, where are you? I'd also like to recognize the U.S. Green Building Council. The Green Building Council, of course, is the outfit that is behind the LEEDS rating system, a program that's transforming the way that American designs, builds, and maintains and operates buildings. Uh, the council has helped our mayor's challenge with training programs and creating an energy vendor database. Uh, would representatives of the Green Building Council please stand and accept our thanks for your involvement as well. You know, all I can tell you is, is that we have started on a path to do some very good things in this city and we still got a lot of work left to do. We need to build on the momentum that we have and make Kansas City even more of a recognized entity and city around this entire country and the world for Energy Star certified buildings. Uh, I'm pretty sure today that we can get started with that because I'm issuing my 2016 Mayor's Energy Challenge and I invite all Kansas City businesses and institutions to increase their 2016 Energy Star score over their 2014 score. And so as you talk to other owners and property managers but today who may not be here, please invite them to join us in accepting this challenge. It's good for them, it's good for everybody, it's good for the city, it's good for the environment. And rest assured, the City Energy Project stands ready to provide training, resources to help people identify energy saving opportunities and implement retrofits and save some money. Energy efficiency is really a simple way to create a healthier, more prosperous Kansas City and we need to get to it. So thanks again for everyone who participated. Thanks again to all at every level for doing what you do to raise energy efficiency in this city and improve air quality. I look forward to working with you in the future, but I really look forward to handing out more plaques to a lot more cities or a lot more companies and buildings in the future. So let's get to that so that we can have 50 people standing up here next time around. Thanks a lot for everything you do.